Today, we'll continue to explore Vinitsa. It was the capital city in the time of the Ukrainian Revolution, 1917 to 1921. And the most modern cycling city in Ukraine. Are you ready? Let's go. Vinitsa. Voted four years in a row as the most comfortable and modern city to live in in the whole of Ukraine. Should we explore it? Yes. Let's, because we are modern and comfortable. Without exaggeration, we are now in the very heart of Ukraine. Just geographically, Vinitsa is the most central region of the country and hardest for me to pronounce. Vinitsa is also known for its public transport. Trams alone carry over 140 million passengers a year. This is more than all neighboring areas combined. I wonder why. Let's find out. This is how the locals get around the city on trams, and they're called Vinway. Yes, these trams are decommissioned trams from Switzerland. They've been moved over here and repurposed for Ukraine. Shall we? We shall. Vinway trams are based on old decommissioned Swiss models, Karpfen and Mirage. But why Swiss ones? It's simple. The track width here is exactly the same as in Switzerland. You see here, trams from Western Europe get a second life. Yes, um, where you will find a lovely ode to the Fab Four in front of the Yellow Submarine. Yeah, you might be wondering, why is this here in the middle of the Ukraine? Well, there's actually a few stories. The first is that this McDonald's right here was a very famous liver pie shop. Yes, and yesterday I heard that in Soviet times, rock and rollers used to come together here and listen to their music. But it could also just be that the mayor was a huge fan. I think the mayor's fan. also a big fan yeah. as well, which makes oh, sense. Oh, oh, a telephone box. I'm going to go say hey to Jude. Fantastic puns today, fantastic puns. Ooh, a famous telephone box. Here we have a uh, London telephone box in the middle of Liverpool Square. I think it actually works. It's weird because it doesn't smell like urine. In London, they mostly do, so you know it's not authentic. And it's not got any graffiti on it, and it's not smashed, so. Who are you calling? Um, said I said Jude. Jude? Hey. Hey, Jude. That's the only Beatles song I I'm know, going, like, I'm, going. Um, I'm not a big Beatles fan. Bye! <laughs> Another version of the story as to why the square is named Liverpool is because once upon a time, delicious pies with liver sausage were sold in this vicinity. It's a pity they don't sell them here anymore, but I wanted something sweet anyway. Finally, we are doing a food review of desserts. I don't want to review it, I want to enjoy it. But we have been walking around for no longer than five minutes, and so we're exhausted and fancied a break and a nice chocolate slice. Yeah, we're in Pancake, which originally opened in Vinitsa. Uh, they do like iced coffee, desserts. Um, and what have you got? I've just got a uh, caramel and nut. Is it like a ganache? It's a, it's, a, it's a slice of cake of some sorts. Is that vegan by any chance? That is vegan for once. It's a chia seed fruit sort of medley and an iced coffee to get with it. I think I win in, in, in this case. OK, let's let's take a dive. Or on the floor. <laughs> well, you can talk now. I'm just going to enjoy the I'm just going to mm. enjoy the cake. That's good. And they do soy milk, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're just going to enjoy this and then continue on our journey in the Vinitsa region. Have you learned to say it yet, Rob? Absolutely not. Give it and yo. let me enjoy my cake. OK, I'll let you enjoy it. The water tower is kind of a symbol of the city of Vinitsa. The original brick building has a clock from the early 20th century. And for centuries, it survived war, revolution, and has still been able to keep its original appearance. 
Let's go inside. Go get up in it. And here's an interesting fact. In the 70s, a scandal happened all around the tower. The reason was the decree of the Soviet government on the socialist image of the city, and the local authorities decided the tower did not fit the socialist look. And it was then decided to demolish the building. But the city's educated elite came out in defense of the tower, and the building was saved. Hooray! The best view. Well, the day has turned out to be rather intense. It would be nice to have a rest and some dinner. There is a place in Vinitsa, but first you need to relax and then you can enjoy your dinner. Now let me show you why. I'm gonna. That was, that was so gentle. His hands are so soft. Oh, thank you. He doesn't use the punt. All right, fantastic. Jack thank you, Jackie. Oh, you. Help him out for a have bit a too nice, long, have then. a nice evening. Have a nice. My little Italian stallion. We feast. After a very, very um, busy little gondola ride, it's time for us to eat some food again. Yes. We, ow, oh, love food. OK, you've got, yeah. you got <laughs> stitches out. Um, so we've got potato, which is daruni, yes. and then zrin viniske, yeah, which, which is this is pink little thing in your bum And a salad, um, and uzvar. Uzvar and nalivka. Nalivka. Nalivka, ah. which is like flavoured grilka, from what I remember. And then I've just got some pork ribs. We've got honey glaze and we've got barbecue. Ooh, so let's talk on in. Do you okay. want to do a celebratory shot first? Oh, yes, which one shall we do? You choose. <laughs> let's do honey. Honey, so honey grill, grill car. No. A budmo. Fresh. That's really good. Yeah, Vision shots. <clears throat> Should have started with that. Okay, right, so. Okay, I'll start with my darone in a nice little uh, ice cream thing. I like it. Oh, thank you. beverage. Uzvar. Uzvar. Right, let's start. And how did you find the gondola ride? It was nice. We got transported into Italy. I've been in a desert in the middle of Ukraine, and now I've been in Venice. It's the so. place, the country that has many countries within it. I think that's what we can conclude. Let's try this then. Yeah, try this. This is the... Zrin... Zrinski. Mm. It's like um, hash browns. Ew. Little hash brown balls, Yummy. which you can't, which you can't go wrong with. Okay. I don't like that. Do you want that? Do you don't like it? It's like the horseradish. That's I think it like looks stinging. It looks better than it tastes. Yeah, but the potatoes are good. Like this is um, 
I like the ketchup here because it seems like it's homemade. <laughs> the hash browns and ketchup, honestly, best in town. This is like a hash brown, actually, yeah, in the UK. I will know for one thing, Ukraine is very good when it comes to meat and barbecue, so let's let's dig in. Okay, I'm gonna get the salad as well. How is it? Tender? Give us some adjectives. Juicy, full of flavour, honey roasted. I'm, I'm into it. There's some happy with. Okay, and I've got this salad here because it's good to stay healthy. Um, it's summer, summer vibes. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's good to think it's got pesto on it. So, I'm the type of person that can look at herb and not know what it is. I think you'll say, it's, but it's it's good. It's fresh, and I think that's goat's cheese as well. But I mean, <laughs> to enjoy your vegan salad. Right. What else would you like us to talk about? <laughs> Budmo. Budmo. Mm, that's goodness. Oh, that's good. I'm smoky. Yeah, the vodka here is great. I mean, it doesn't taste alcoholic. No, they've got, I don't even know what it's called. Mmm. But the food is also great. You get this nice, beautiful view here in Vinitsa. And check out the sunset. And we were saying that every time, like, the sun sets here, it's, like, so nice. It is. The sunsets in Ukraine have been fantastic. Mmm. Always at the same time of day as well. Madness. Yeah. To look at us and uh, enjoy it. Uh, look at the size of that rib. That's a decent amount of meat. That's, that's what you want. Because you know the one thing, the worst thing about ribs is sometimes it's mostly bone more than it is meat. But that's. That could be human, to be fair. It's probably the last gondola person that you didn't. Oh man, that's really nice. Mm. That's really, really good. Good choice, Sasha. I think you, did you choose this? Yeah. No, you didn't. Okay. Whoever chose it. Oh it's my nice. god, that's, like a that's hash brown. delicious. <sighs> I wish you ate meat just so you could. I did eat meat for 22 years. 20, 21 years. Oh my god. Mm. 